Excellency, they've also come out openly to accuse you yes. that you are behind the violence. Look, look, violence against who? Violence yes, against who? Against them, but, and they have also Abel complained that you are not that allowing them to campaign. How will you not allow them to campaign? The Labour Party not campaign yesterday. The Labour Party will not campaign here. I have told you that you cannot use public facilities without approval. I have always said that. Have they not been campaigning? Have they not been going to halls to hold their uh, meetings and rallies? But if you, are, if you want to use a public facility without approval, we'll stop it. That is all. Pardon me. You, you've publicly said that other parties shouldn't bother campaigning, not once, not twice. That there's no point campaigning that the PDP what owns what that means. What that what, and what? for a lot of people that's tacitly saying, hey, this is not. No, no, no. Then, then you are in different meanings. When we say there's no need to campaign because you know that this state, based on what we have done, it will be difficult for any party to win our party in this state. So why are you bothering yourself campaigning? Reverse people have confidence in us. So when I said there's no need of you campaigning, does not mean you should not come to campaign. All we are saying is that your campaign will not yield anything. That is the point I'm trying to, to make. Oh, we are not saying, listen, listen, so it's, listen to all the candidates. Uh, no, you're, that's why I said you are getting it wrong. All right. When I said there's no need of you coming to campaign, what that means is that what are you going to tell the vast people? That today, say, why would you vote for us? They have their manifestos. What manifestos? <laughs> we, they, they all do ourselves. This is the time that they have seen a government that says we are going to do this, and they have done it. We are, going to, we are going to do this, and he has done it. Your Excellency, would you say you've done it all and there's nothing else to do? No, that's not the point. That's not the point. But people are satisfied. Even if you stay here for 40 years, there will still be issues, problems. But the point is, for the first time in a, the, in a democracy governance, people are now beginning to have confidence that, who is this? Is it an average Nigerian politician? Who will come and tell you one story? At the end of the day, he does a different uh, thing. So you mean that people can say they will do this and they go ahead and do it? Is it real? That's what we have shown in this state, and it has never happened. Concrete. Mr. Governor said we are going to do this. In any local government I go to, simple question: Did I tell you I was going to do this? Yes. Have I done it? Yes. Did I tell I was going to do this? Yes. Have I done it? Yes. Did I tell I was going to do this? Am I doing it? Yes. Before now, I mentioned a government that will tell you something, politician that will tell you something, and it's been carried out to the letter. That is a different thing we have shown in this state. That actually, if you are committed, if you really want to do something for your people, you, you can do it. Take, for example, the issue of Transcalabari Road has been a political issue. No government that comes without telling the people of Calabari, I was going to, I'm, I'm going to do Trans Calabari Road. When I came, I told them, listen, I'm going to do carry out the first phase of Trans Calabari Road. People thought it was a joke. As I speak to you today, it's a reality. Why? Communities, about six communities, they have never seen road in their life. Takama, Minama. Sangama, uh, Angulama, all kind of communities. The day I drove to that, those communities, you can see the joy, the radiation in their faces, happiness. You mean today we have road connected to other communities. So this can be a reality, right? So there are things that have been impossible, or people may claim to be impossible, that today were made to be possible. So when I say, that no, you, you coming here to campaign. What I'd that be that we are quite on ground. We have been accepted based on our performance. And, and to crown it all, take for example, I'm an opposition party. You know what it takes for a president to say in terms of infrastructure, to say, I recognize you, you've done well as an opposition party. And then you are coming, the, 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 the same party is coming to campaign. What would the party tell them in the state? When you are, the leadership of your party has acknowledged the performance of the opposition, so what are you going to tell the people? That they can do better? 
even if it is that no, they, 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 even if it is that no 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 they, 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 they are not even saying they can do better right. they are saying that we have not done anything that is a bad thing they are president too yes, yeah, yes. But some have God. also complained of uh, some level of high handedness high in terms of high handed how in terms of what how for, for instance the, the, after the, the PDP presidential campaign council yes. rejected your offer of the use of the state. They did not write they, to me. They, they, did, went they to another place. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. They wanted to build on their oh, own. Okay, okay, okay let me tell you. That, that, that's what, okay, 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 no, no. You see, that's why people carry all kinds of propaganda. I tell you, when people are not prepared to do something, they find excuses. They never wrote to us that they are going to reject or they have rejected. We wrote to them. So I expected that they should have written to us. No, we are no longer taking that place. First of all, we have the policy of presidential rally in this state. All presidential rallies must take place in the stadium. One, in order to avoid stampede. You don't go to a small field to hold presidential uh, rally. You know what that will be. So we put every presidential rally, we have two stadiums. General Yakubu Gowan Stadium and Adokia Mesmeka Stadium. Adokia Mesmeka Stadium takes up to 40,000. Why did John Yakubu tell us to 16,000? So it is easier and in terms of control to use those two facilities. Now, what happened inside the city? There's a line in dispute between government and Intel. In fact, government had even revoked that property before then. How was it revoked? Intel got that land 19 years ago and refused to develop that property. Intel used that land and took loan. Instead of developing that property, they used that loan to do some other things. And government said, listen, how can you use our property we give out? You are not developing the place. You use it to take a loan. Government had to revoke it. Somehow, you know, people like to play politics. These miscreants forced themselves there to use the place as I said, well, how would this be? We have given you a chemist maker stadium. Why are you not using that place? We will not allow rally to take place inside this area. That was all. Pardon me, when you say Intel, you're referring to the company so Yes, Intel yes. The presidential candidate of your Yes. Okay. I don't know whether he has interest there. I don't know. I'm not talking about Intel. So I wouldn't say what I do not uh, know. Then I wrote to us to say, look, we are no longer using the stadium. And inside the city, how do you control the traffic? How? But the whole thing was that they had no capacity to 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 to, to fill at the chemist Mega Stadium, and that would have exposed them. So, in order to make a cover, let's go and use that place. Unfortunately, government cannot allow that place. For Christ's sake, there are rules and regulations. You cannot tell me because you're a PDP member. Therefore, you cannot obey simple uh, rules. You don't do that. Somebody's in charge of the state. There cannot be two governors at the same time. You cannot. Is that what involved the use of force? Because uh, one of the leaders, uh, former minister, uh, Abiyo Sekibo, pointedly accused you yes. that you were the one behind the attack of the police. That the police where they saw drove in the direction of your house that these are police and what is my house do you know where this is this is having more than this is my house this is where i live this is where i live this is about 15 kilometers away and as at what time what time in the night 1 a.m in the night that's why you saw the police move and then you saw with them driving towards my house you see people have just known if you know i'd be a second one if you now be a sekibo, if you are talking about violence, I do check Kaidi Esha's panel report. Justice Kaidi Esha's report. Who did he indict? About this sponsor of cultism. It's a be a Go and read the panel's report. Well, have I been indicted or sponsor of cultism? No. Judicial panel. I was not the one who set it up. So, how could anybody say that? You have heard before, and the point is that when this happens, you won't go and report to police for police to be able to investigate. You are aware when Senator Lee, my member, made an allegation. Police said, Come and give a statement. He ran away. You know, 
all kinds of things, manner of things. They believe that the only way the, the presidential candidate can be happy with them is to show that we have been the one challenging Wiki. We have been the one going on news to challenge Wiki. <coughs> that is the only thing. As you have come, have they gone anywhere to campaign for the presidential candidate? Have you seen any billboard of the presidential candidate? These are people who claim supporting. They give them money, they collect the money, and put it in their private uh, pocket. They go back and say, Wiki does not allow us. I mean, the billboards are they owned by government? You have come to Port Harcourt. You have seen Port Harcourt. Why couldn't they at least pay for the billboards?